Anyone can win today. Try your luck and play. Don't give up, ma'am. You'll get lucky this time. And you, sir? How can I help you? What's the game? Good, sir. Let me explain. Three cups, one shell. To find it is to win. Simple enough, right? Except I've lost three times already. I'd love to play. Who knows, maybe I'll have more luck. You have to wait, I'm afraid. It's the lady's turn. Thank you, sad man. Fortune favors the brave. All right, let's do it. Come back later, sir. I'll play. And if you cheat, I'll know. Why don't you go, ma'am? This isn't your lucky day. And now we'll have a talk with you, smart Alec. We'll teach you not to harass hard-working fiddlers. Get him!
Am I a magician or what? That wasn't too hard. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. There's one staken. What? Bullshit, magician. Don't throw your weight around, or we'll take you to people who'll burn you at the stake. I heard they're gathering wood already. Take it back and maybe i let you live. Look at him! That's what I'm talking about, harassing good people, Satan spawn. Driver, stay here. This won't take long.
What do you want to tell me, friend?
He moves with the bustle of the market and the rustle of sand grains around the stalls. It feels like the sun is standing at its zenith and burning mercilessly. It's a visitor from a harsh desert land. A djinn. I felt something. Where is it? My, I can see you need a haircut, sir. Is it that obvious? Please, do your thing. No worries. We'll fix it in no time. So, how do you like your new hairdo? Perfect. I look brand new. You were already very handsome. I only needed to further enhance your looks.
Let me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. I love all you want, but I really can see it. I can help it. Victor. Promise me that the whispers of these salutors of yours won't turn you into a cynic like your father. I promise, Mother. I'd rather not change at all, much less into father. You'll see! My Uber will order you to eat your own brain! I've been carrying it with me for half a lifetime. I remember there was someone else here. He wasn't happy. He thought I wasn't ready yet. Miss, maybe he was right.
The plan is simple. Bashka has a stand around the corner where she sells moonshine. You've got the money, I've got the will, everything fits. The evening is set. You're a real strategist, brother. Then, the bald guy looks to his left, looks to his right, and POOM smacks the cop right in the face! <laughs> Calm down, don't go hitting me now. Has anyone ever told you that you get overly excited about certain things? Name? Shulski. From those Shulskis? Well, well, your daddy will be happy. Just like my daddy when he hears that I've been leading little Victor down the wrong path again. Shut your mouth, punk, or my deputy will put a precautionary bullet in your right butt cheek. Boris who wanted to show me his father's stall. He picked a bad moment. I didn't need thaumaturgy to feel his shame at that moment. We can go. Now I'm ashamed of what I felt back then. I felt superior. What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor! My old man will kill me when he finds out this was our doing! Don't go... Get it through your fucking head. I don't give a fuck about the Shulsky family money. This is a matter of my pops and my honor. All right already, calm down. I have a different plan. What plan? Because if Satanisov is involved, I'm out! Calm down, it's not like that, but we have to get into his office. I don't want to see it. We didn't realize what we were doing. We were still children. Mieszko Sitsemin was a scoundrel. He ruined many people's lives. This is my pride. The same you clung to, barely discovered, but it was what pushed me into it. It got the better of me at the time. Is every thaumaturge enslaved by the flaw? I was tormented by guilt for a long time. But eventually, that event made me who I am today. Didn't it?
Hey, you with the book! Tell them they can't keep us here against our will! Go back to the ward! I'm telling you for the last time, the examination's not over. Man, this is a prison state! Even quacks will lock you up! You better stay out of this. Take it from me. Is it all because patients won't get examined anymore? My friend felt under the weather, so we came. But look at him now! Sound as a bell. You came? They brought you on a cart, half dead. Probably after some kind of subversion. This is slander! It's better if they stay longer. For examination. You understand? I understand. They should stay here for their own good. You scum! You're siding with the quacks? What kind of patriot are you? Get here! With this simple trick, I can save some chloroform.
Would you like to buy some flowers? They'll steal your heart. Have you perhaps noticed any unprecedented phenomena happening here? Here? Mister, there's a thousand and one of those happening every day. How about a flower? I'll have one. It will be perfect for a buttonhole. A desert daisy. It survives even in the harshest conditions. I didn't think you were such an expert on flowers. Rather on people. I can't help but feel that we've already met. Surely you're confusing me with someone else, sir. I know what I'm talking about. You left an identical flower on one of the stalls, and you were very happy about it. You got a beautiful porcelain plate in return. And earlier, you were looking at gold watches. Fearing the seller becoming suspicious, you gave up on one of them. Shall I go on? Thaumaturge, I've heard a little something about you and your tricks. Want me to show you real magic? Help! Thief! Help! Stop. What are you up to, pickpocket? Stealing from flower girls? You scoundrel. You don't like breathing through a straight nose. Gentlemen, I didn't do anything this manipulator is accusing me of. Everyone says that. Well, maybe not quite in this way, but... And people lose their belongings. What about him, Yahim? After all, you're not angry with me. I'm not the one who isn't paying you. Your anger has a different source. Go to the source. Yahim, the truth is cruel. Unfortunately, the pickpocket is right. What's the use of tormenting some small fry when you know who this is about? Well, I wanted to tell you a long time ago, only I was afraid that... Yahim, lad, I would never. Come on. We'll settle things with that scum in his office. As for you, you know what'll happen if you come here again, right? You understand? I'm already gone. Interesting. My thief was definitely here. Or could the djinn be deceiving me? The heat again. What tricks are these? Welcome to the watering hole, wanderer. Show the proper respect. Hello. My name's Victor. They call me Ali, and this is my well. Did you draw from it? No. So, what are you doing here? I was looking for someone here, but I didn't find them. 
At the zenith in the desert, it's not hard to lose your way. Are you trying to lead me astray, like Jin? I meet desert spirits sometimes, but I don't walk in their paths. No mortal should. I'm just Ali. I'm following the trail of a particular thief, but so far she has eluded me. I know she passed this way. It sounds like she's one of the Jinns. You weren't far off. Have you seen her? I've not only seen her, I also know her. And since you showed me respect at the watering hole, I'll tell you where to find her. Go south and find washerwomen working. Your thief lives among them. Your oasis is within reach. I'm talking to you, man. What? I asked why you're staring at this pump. I'm looking for the laundry. Well, you could use it. Both laundries are in Mirov, on Crayon Street, south of here. No offense, but you look and sound like someone who's lost his marbles. You'd better go now. Be on your way. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Let's try. Open sesame. How did you know the password, Ganef? Back off, Charles. Do you even know what it means, you little shit? I won't have no foreigner teach me Warsaw speak. It's clear you're not from around here. I can spot a wise guy from a mile off. I'll get my guys if I need to. I know a thing or two about magic. If you don't behave, I'll turn you into a toad. As long as you don't turn me into a Ganef. Don't get in my way, understand? There's nothing for you here, posh boy! Arnold everything yet, Claude? Then get lost. Should I scrub your tongue out with soap? Who taught you such foul language? Your sister doesn't speak like this, that's for sure. 
We can't afford soap, you bourgeois bastard! Let's talk about your sister, and about you. I know her name is Layla. I'm not talking to Ganef. I also like potato dumplings, garnished with onions, browned in a hot pan. The kind your sister makes for you. Stop annoying me! I'll invite you both for some freshly kneaded dumplings, provided you tell me where Layla is. Don't lie to me, Ganef. A cracked window is nothing pleasant. Fall will come soon. Layla wants you to find a better place. If you don't tell me where she is, I won't be able to help you. Yeah, right. That checkered blanket. You used to hide under it when your sister was arguing with your father, didn't you? And? I could feel how scared you were when she smuggled you in it through the Warsaw Turnpikes. All right, I'll tell you. As long as it gets you out of here. She's probably at the harem. It's a local brothel, not far from here. Just don't get any ideas. She doesn't work there. Thank you. Ganef. You try to deceive me, but it's not gonna happen. It'll be mine. How much can I get for this loot? We have a guest. Is it nice to eavesdrop like this? I was looking for her. We have things to talk about. My guess is that he didn't come to a brothel for a philosophical debate. Do you know each other? Something like that. If he pesters you, you know it. To do. And you better behave yourself, or you'll scare away the girls. Is he your fence? Why, are you interested in him? Or maybe you're interested in me? I must have caught your eye. You could say that, sure. You have something 
I want. I'm not here to grant your wishes. Hey, you there! Yeah? Got a problem? My brave assistants will show you the door. Try not to resist too much. They don't like it. I will deal with them on the spot, and you don't go anywhere. Feel well, what is it? I'm back. Like a bad dream. You are persistent. I'll give you that. How did you find me? As Ali would say, introductions come before all else. I hear you know each other. My name is Victor. I don't know any Ali. How did you find me? I'm a thaumaturge, after all. I can find anyone, no matter how hard they try to cover their tracks. I know, I know. And you found me. So, what do you want? I'm not the only one following you. There's something else. A wild salutar. It's him that I find the most interesting about you. Do you know what a djinn is? Nothing beyond what my brother has read about him in his fairy tales. 
And it's this arrogant impudence that attracts him to you. I'm afraid it's an inborn trait. You showed some guts when you pulled yourself and your brother out of that place with neither hope nor prospects. I don't intend to confide in you. You're not going to sit here forever, are you? Stealing for Tweezer won't get you and your brother out of poverty. And what do you know about getting out of poverty, Mr. Bourgeoisie? You have a good deal going with Tweezer, correct? A business like any other, but I admit that I'm quite comfortable here. It's very profitable for him, too. He took you in when you first came to the city? Don't get any ideas. All he did was help me get back on my feet. I'll look around here some more. Do what you want. Hello, sweet secret. You're still here? I have to ask you something. And here I thought you could learn everything from fondling objects. If your arrangement works so well, why are you stealing from him? I know that you know the combination to Tweezer's safe. So that makes two of us, then. I keep my hands to myself and my mouth shut. I advise you to do the same. You're not going to sit here forever, are you? Stealing for Tweezer won't get you and your brother out of poverty. And what do you know about getting out of poverty, Mr. Bourgeoisie? I'll look around here some more. Do what you want. Tell me. Will my people be all right after all that? They'll live. I also told you to behave yourself. It's a nice place. Why call it harem? And why won't the Thaumaturge start answering questions instead of asking them? I wonder how it is with you lot in bed. What are those demons of yours up to then? On behalf of all Tempermancers, I must stress that this is carefully guarded knowledge. But you've intrigued me, Sorcerer. Why Tweezer? Cause it appeals to the imagination. But I've also heard a few creative variations. I think I enjoyed Squeezer the most. Get it? I see. It's kind of funny. Were you here in May, during the pimp lynching? I was. I was. But I'm still here. Sadly, not everyone was as fortunate. Luck can also be helped, right? If one has, for example, a deal with the Ochranas provocateurs, it can make a lot of things easier. They say that luck favors those who manage on their own. I'm alive, and the girls have a place to work. Everyone is happy. So what if the hateful mob targets all magicians tomorrow? And the only rescue for you and your friends will be to make a deal with the Ohrana. Will you help your luck then, or will you complain? I'll never make a deal with saddest services. 
Never say never. What caused the lynching? No, no, kitty cat. The right question is why? However, no one knows this for sure. Some say it was anti-Semitic workers. Others say that it's provocation from the Ohrana because soldate are regulars here. Sometimes bad blood needs to be spilled to make the rabble docile again. I have some other questions. There are so many more pleasant things you could do here with that mouth. But ask. A lot happens here. It seems like an ordinary brothel, but it's managed rather creatively. Instead of putting your hands on things, maybe start putting them on beautiful ladies. Or gentlemen. The choice is yours. I don't know if touching anyone would tell me that Layla has been skimming from your safe. Layla! I'm busy. Busy getting into my safe? Says who? The gold watch you lifted from the Dvor whispered to me that you are equally cautious when lifting banknotes from the safe. Not too much, either, so that no one catches on. You talk to watches? Maybe you're a snake charmer, too. Yes. Anything else, charmer? I know the combination. I know that you keep repeating it in your head when you're bored. Did you hear me? Mind your thoughts around this one, or he'll expose you for the deviant you are. Layla, pockets. Come on. Is 1891 an important date? Pockets. That's enough. Before you do something that you'll regret. What? Did the great magician change his mind out of pity for the poor girl? I'll manage. I always do. This time, you won't have to look after everything on your own. Get out of here, both of you, and don't come back! I'm not used to someone standing up for me. Thank you. You know why I'm here. Well, yes. This djinn of yours. Is he here now? Can you see him? I don't have to. I can see you and I know he's around. Are you trying to seduce me? You must know that as soon as the djinn is captured, I will also take your audacity from you. I don't really know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm in your debt. Stand still. It will all be over soon. Her audacity certainly helped Layla and her brother tackle their fate. But it also led you down the path of transgression. Without it, you will cease to be the Jin's puppet.
You're mine, almost. Is... is it over? I don't feel particularly different, except that I don't want to be here anymore. I have to go back to my brother. Will you be all right? Yes, I'm almost certain of that. Rest. You look awful. Good luck. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right.
Do you have a moment? For you, always. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Grigori? Where did you find that Salutor? In the Sahara? It's a gem. A master of wishes in his own form. Quickly, Victor, before he buries us both. Focus on your wish. Extraordinary. He doesn't threaten you anymore. Your wish is his command. Mr. Szulski, 
Come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right.
What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face. That smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? When was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? We must not have even been five. You two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. The guy next to father, that's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Miruf, not too far away. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm taking another look around. Is that? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. <laughs> On my way. Welcome to my little store. Did you see the sign? Yes, very nice. So you didn't take a particularly close look. I wanted to talk to you about a certain university. The store looks better than I remembered. More... human. I've sorted through the remaining junk, and I'm keeping the monkey brains, prepared corpses, and potency ointments just in the catalog now, so mothers can come here with their kids. Do you want to be better than father? People look at a businesswoman strangely, so I intend to prove to them that I'm better than businessmen. I'm doing my best. Has anything strange happened lately? Anything that might have something to do with the golem? A cup fell from the table, and someone stumbled while crossing the doorstep, but I assume those aren't things that can be attributed to a golem. Most likely common clumsiness. That's good news. And some plaster fell from the ceiling, but that's probably because something was passing by. Nothing serious. Anything else? What's this mysterious university? I'm giving a lecture at the Flying University. It's a very informal educational initiative, not to say secret. And an important one, especially for women who can get an education from us, which they are legally prohibited from doing under the partition. I'd like you to come with me. What's the lecture about? The economic aspect of the woman's question. I've gathered some interesting data and managed to get some great sources from France and England. Come on! Those two brain cells you still have will appreciate a break from booze and trouble. Come with me. Of course I will go. I will be honored. No questions or bargaining? Who are you, and what have you done to my brother? If it's important to you, there's no need to persuade me. The university is meeting in the antiquarian bookshop across the green square. Which brings us to the most important thing. 
Everyone brings something sweet, so I ordered some donuts from Mrs. Yagoda. The best ones. And the best donut is filled with... With plum. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Get those donuts, will you? I'll see what I can do. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Good day, Mrs. Yagoda. Have you worked up an appetite for a cookie? I'd like to collect Ligia Shurska's order. Of course. Give her my best. And don't hesitate to stop by for a little snack from time to time. Have a nice day. I take the donuts and don't ask awkward questions. Have a nice day. Mr. Shulsky, I presume. <laughs> what gave me away? Your resemblance to Ligia. And the book at your waist. That's an interesting way of sewing up the binding. Let me take your coat. The lecture has already started. Follow the corridor. The professor has already made a judgment. A change for the better? Surprising in this town. Boarding schools for girls truly are a devilish invention. Inequality between the sexes is a real problem that keeps society in economic stagnation. No wonder if half of population cannot take up a job or are not adequately remunerated for their work. We want to study, work, make our own choices. We want all of our lives. Ligia, I'd love to see you on the faculty. You must agree. There you are. 
Samuel said Celia, I'd like you to meet my brother. Mr. Shulsky? The Victor Shulsky? The Thaumaturge? Yes, madam. It is I. Oh, I... I need to talk to you about Thaumaturgy. Lydia has told me a lot about you. I've been interested in it ever since I was a child. Although, sadly, I was not blessed with power. Sadly is not a word I would use. Mr. Shulsky, welcome to the Flying University. The university is an interesting venture. Where did you get the idea? Out of necessity. The occupiers control all the academies. They don't allow women to study and don't care about the level of education. And the future Poland will need an intellectual elite. Where does the university's name come from? For obvious reasons, we don't have a permanent residence. Our academy is constantly flying between the apartments of people willing to host us. Some also mockingly say we are a childlike and girlish university, as the university was created with women in mind. But the mockery will soon end, because our graduates have already started scientific careers abroad. Are there any known names among the graduates? <laughs> Mrs. Skłodowska Kiri, for instance. Our Nobel Prize winner. Aren't you afraid of the police? I am aware that we leave ourselves open to a charge of distributing prohibited works and imprisonment. Great causes are worth taking the risk, don't you think? Once you set a goal, never let it out of your sight, no matter what. As Dad used to say. Have you got any more questions? Let's talk about something else. Of course. Congratulations, Professor. You did great. I did. And what did you like the most? What I liked most was seeing you as a lecturer. Damn it, you and your compliments. I can't stay mad at you. You know that science is your domain, not mine. Still, it doesn't change the fact I'm very proud of you. I'm afraid to ask what my sister has told you. Nothing but the truth, I'll bite not all. We are a civilized people, after all. I'm interested in stories about thaumaturgy. I find it fascinating. Do you teach thaumaturgy here? I've heard that it's becoming popular in Paris. In our academic circles, hardly anyone shares my interest. We've already talked about it. With such a limited amount of sources, there's not much we can do. That's why we should use the knowledge of someone who traveled half the world to learn the tricks of the trade. Uh, I'm afraid you overestimate me. Please, do tell us about your travels. I used to live with the whirling dervishes in Damascus for some time. The dams keep salitors away. I've also met an Inuit sage who claimed he could talk to them. How? How is that possible? Cecilia, let's give Mr. Shulsky some space. Let's talk about something else. Of course. I'll take a look around the room. Mr. Shulsky, we must talk. It's important. Please find me later. Oh, I think you'll find that the catering tables aren't the only place you'll find something sweet. Give me a break. Uh, only if you brought some donuts. I did. I know one should not stand between you and sugar. You're speaking words of wisdom, brother. Then I will leave you as well. Mr. Shulsky, please meet our students. A 
I also write term papers for the principal school students. Would you like some work? Excuse me, and you are... Viktor Shulski. You are Ligia's brother? It's great that you came to your sister's lecture. Not all of us have that kind of support. What do you mean? My brother. He thinks an educated woman is a disgrace to her family. If he knew I studied, he'd beat me until I was bleeding. We all take some risk. Well, maybe everyone except Polina. What do you mean? She's Russian, and I'm sure she'll bring the police down on us. I don't know why Dickstein trusts her. Don't waste your breath. Better have an eclair. What is it? Do you need help? How did you happen to start studying? I was helping Dad with business and I was doing fine. So he encouraged me to apply. It's the least he could do for you. So you're on first name terms with Samuel, huh? How did that happen? Everyone's on first name terms with everyone else here. Somehow, I haven't noticed him giving any other student that much attention. <laughs> Watch it. You're going to get it. I'll be off now. You wanted to talk to me? I've got a whole bunch of questions and I really hope you can answer them. Check your enthusiasm, please. You and your dress take all of our oxygen. Lucrezia, only feeble men are afraid to be inquisitive. And the Taumaturge cannot be feeble. The power you possess meddles with the very fabric of reality and the most subtle aspect of human psyche. It is... Overrated at the best and made up at worst. Maybe I could change your mind about my power if I used it. Yes! For example, I could convince you that you are a parrot. Oh my god! The bookseller went mad! Help! Is that your doing? Now you believe in thaumaturgy? Mr. Shulsky, please don't mind her. Let's go, they might need you. This is tragic! I need to yell about it! Thieves! This is an outrage! Calm down. We can sort it out. You... Do not tell me what to do. It is definitely the time to be nervous. I'm just saying we can look together. It might be a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? It's a theft! You! I bet you did it! What happened? The first edition of a nation tale is gone. My beloved game exposed to sunshine. Master, greasy fingers. Oh, what a horrible tragedy. You can't treat me like that. Nobody leaves this place. Either I get my book back or I'm calling the police. What do you mean? I can't stay here any longer. Antoni. Do not threaten my students. They are not students. They are animals. Mr. Shulsky can find your book. Yes, I can do that. Really? And then can you bring eternal misery upon the thief? Of course. What is it exactly that you want? I want him to get blushes on the soles of his feet. Mm -hmm. Done. Good heavens. Mr. Shulsky, please, stop joking. We'd be grateful if you could find the book.
I was instructed to become acquainted with your lot. Viktor Shulski, nice to meet you. I don't know if talking to me is the best choice. Polina Nikolaevna Gavrilov. Seems you're not very popular among your colleagues. What do they tell you? That I cast spells to make their pants leak and their ties run? Why don't they like you? Because I'm Russian and every Ruski is an enemy, right? My mother is Russian, so my perspective is different. I understand the political situation. I was born in Warsaw. I love this city. Why did you decide to go to the university? I don't want to waste my intellect on throwing parties and picking the perfect hat. And what do you want? To study law at the Sorbonne. You think it's funny? No, it's just that my mother wanted me to study law in Paris. But I preferred to travel. My mother keeps trying to talk me into traveling. Apparently, that's the way to find a husband. Who do you think is behind stealing that book? I can't believe that it might be one of us. After all, we all love books. That sounds like the perfect motive. <laughs> Indeed. If I were to steal, I would rob antiquarian bookshops. But it wasn't me. I'll be off now. Can I help you? Tell me about Ligia's studies. Your sister has an extraordinary mind. She's one of our most gifted graduates, and I hope she will join our teaching staff after this lecture. Her arguments are bold and accurate, untainted by social restraints. Oh, and her charisma. Indeed, you are impressed. <clears throat> Is there anything else you want to ask? Do you have any suspicions regarding the stolen volume? I don't believe any of the students could do it. It must be a misunderstanding. I hope you manage to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. Goodbye. You don't understand. I want to leave. And I want my volume to be in my display case. Maybe you're the one who has it. I'm not a thief, and I don't have to explain myself. Why do you want to leave right now? I told my parents I was going to church. If I'm not back on time, they'll start to look for me. And I'll be in trouble. Please help me. You can help by searching this young lady. I know subtler ways. Could you give me a personal item, please? No, she's not the one who stole the book. The trace doesn't match. How do you know? There's no trace of the thief on this item. That lady did not steal the book. I see. I can't open the door, but I can help you with your parents. I know what it's like when your loved ones don't understand your passion for books. I see. Thank you for your help. Mr. Shulski, there are guest codes in the wardrobe. I will let you in there if it helps you to catch that degenerate. That might be helpful. Then follow me, please. Have you found anything? Maybe, although I still need some information. Well, what are you waiting for? Fire away!
I found a men's skirt in the wardrobe, one with embroidered initials and wooden buttons. Do you remember who it belongs to? With a worn-out collar and elbow patches? That's Valdemar's coat. You have good memory. Which you are using in a ridiculous way. Why don't you look for the degenerate? The large coat belongs to Miss Lucrezia, I presume. The one with the satin lining? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But I don't know why you're wasting your time on these. Thank you. That was very helpful. I will wait for the results then. A grey coat with embroidered initials and wooden buttons. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Why do you ask? I think it belongs to the thief. What? No, I don't wear a coat. It's September. I like the cold. And that is not a crime. Leave me alone. found your book. And what's this? I hope you will find my little plot amusing. The city must recognize the power of thaumaturgy. Enjoy your show. You have earned it. Cecilia. I should return the volume. The bookseller will finally calm down. And then I will have a talk with the author of this letter. Here is your volume. You came back to me, safe and sound. Praise the Lord. I hope it was all just a mistake. No, it was planned. That was obvious. How did you find the book? I found the lockpicks that the thief used to open the display case. They were marked with this trace. And that is how you determined his identity? What an exceptional display of thaumaturgy. As impressive as conjuring up ghosts at a seance. I would like to see you say that to Madame Samira. Of course you know each other. You both prey on people's gullibility. Consider this a thaumaturgical display. Before you left the house, you had an argument with your husband. He thinks you are having an affair, while in reality, you sneak out to the university. Do you find that convincing? How dare you? These are private matters and should not be discussed in public. Duh, you ask for it. Stop, both of you. Please tell us who took the book from the display case. The book was in the bedroom, under the bed. What a captivating display of power. Shame there wasn't a missing sock there too. Now that would be a discovery. Don't be sarcastic, it's the potential that matters. What matters is who is responsible for that mess. Please, 
Don't keep us in suspense. The plot might not be too original, but it was certainly planned. You might be missing the big picture. It is Cecilia who is responsible for stealing the book. <laughs> it's impossible. She was with us all the time. She persuaded Valdemar to use his father's lockpicks and take the book while she remained in your sight. It, it's impossible. Valdemar? It's true, Mr. President. Cecilia said it would be a joke. Do you understand what kind of situation this puts me in? How this affects our reputation? I'm sorry, but it was necessary. I had my reasons. What reasons? Nobody treats taumaturgy like a real science. I had to show its potential. Show what you are capable of. That's enough. That is no excuse. I will talk to you in a minute. Leave us alone. You know I was right. I'm sorry you were used like that. I've had a great time. If all the lectures are like this, I want to be a student. <laughs> I know what you mean. Cecilia's methods are disgraceful, but she does have a point. A lecture by a taumaturge would enrich our academy. Please, consider it an offer. I will think about it. <laughs> 